Welcome to the Afterspin. Opinions from thought leaders in our state. Joe Mavretti, the question of administrative pay at UNC has been much in the news recently, especially since it was revealed Margaret Spellings is going to be paid $775,000 a year plus benefits that could raise her compensation to about a million dollars. But the Board of Governors also raised the pay for 12 chancellors at UNC schools from between 8 to 19 percent. Faculty and others are protesting, saying there's no, that's no way to hold down the cost of education when the people at the top are being paid so handsomely. What's your take? Well, I think the faculty is right, and I wish that they would be more energized uh, as, uh, as unhappy uh, employees. Uh, let me give you a couple of numbers. Um, if you're an average chancellor, you get about $250,000 a year. Uh, if you're a three-star general and you're responsible for lives, you get about $210,000 a year. Of those chancellors who get $250,000 or more a year, not a, only 13 of the 16 university campus chancellors have a six-year graduation rate in excess of 66 percent. In other words, wow. two-thirds of their students graduate within six years, a third do not. Now, their principal business is graduating good citizens. I don't think they should be rewarded for not doing their job. Interesting. Well, thank you for watching the Afterspin. We'll have more video all during the week on ncspin.com.